If we read the name from the, can you see the half circle? Yes. And, and the check and the half circle. So this is toot, T-O-T, or T-W-T, or T-U-T. Because we, we don't, in, in ancient Egyptian language, we follow the sound. So it's not a must to be O or W or U. It's an O, to, okay? So toot, ankh, imen. Tut Ankh Im, the living image of Amun. The story says that he was called Tut Ankh Atom, the living image of Atom. Who is Atom? That is the knitter was brought by Akhenaton. Akhenaton was from the 18th dynasty and Luxor, the, the location was Luxor, that is, was the main center of Amun priesthood. It seems that Akhenaton revolted against them and didn't want to follow them. So he started Aton uh, religion. Okay? So his son or his son-in-law or his younger brother, we are not sure yet about the relation between him and Tutankhamun, was called Tut Anh Aton. And when they say that Akhenaton was assassinated, assassinated or killed or disappeared, or what, but also we are not sure, that the, the young king changed his name by force, of course, to be Tut An Amun, okay? To follow Amun, not Atun. And the three lower, uh, three uh, levels, three symbols in the lower level, Hika Eyon Shema, the ruler of Southern Thebes, or Southern Heliopolis, which is Thebes, which is Luxor. So we have North Heliopolis, or Heliopolis of the North. This is now Heliopolis, North Cairo, and uh, Heliopolis in the South, which is Luxor now. What I realized that in his throne, and we now we, we understand that he changed his title from Aton to Amun, but in his throne there is one with Aton. Wasn't changed. Huh? So that is the throne chair of Tutankhamun and his wife. So many sources say that saying that his wife was his elder stepsister, half sister, his elder half sister. Again, why? Because the throne was moving through the female blood, not the male blood. So the king is not giving the throne to his son. Who is giving the throne? The queen will give the throne. Or the princess, if she will inherit the throne from her mother because she is the elder child. Okay. So we can see the king in dark color again. That is agate. And the queen in light color, that is silver. And according to the titles next to them, she is Anh Es Enba, and his name is Tut Anh Amun, Tut Ankamun. Okay. That chair is not completely made out of gold, it is made out of wood and covered with layers of gold. Yeah. But all the colors, that is uh, natural stones. So that is not colors. Okay, it is all stones, agate and turquoise and lapis lazuli. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Again, if you look to the eyes of the lion, they use the same kind of stone rock crystal.
I didn't explain yet about the name, right? If you come this way, look, here's the name. Can you see the difference between Amun and Atun? That is Atun. Tut Atun. So it was before he had changed the name. But I see it very strange. If they changed his name everywhere, they could do this with the throne. Why the only beast? And this will be the most visible beast to visitors. If someone will visit the king, he will see his original name. And this is the... the the most wanted place to hide that name. You got it? If they are changing the name, they may leave the old name in other un, uh, unknown or un, non-important pieces. But that is very important. Everybody will come to visit. The king will see that name. Tut Han Atun. And you're sure Atun's not the final name? Are you sure? The first name. It That's the, the first, first name, yes. Or we are talking about two different kings. Which is what I think. Which is Tutankh Atun and Tutankh Amun. That's what I think, but I don't know why I think that. That's <laughs> weird. And this is again written in the back the same way, Tutankh Atun. So then there's another king missing that they didn't it could be. find in the valley. Mm -hmm. And that is that the wife. That was maybe down below. Yes. Uh -huh. Because... That is the, the name of his wife, is Anh Enba. Eaten. That is her name too.